today's class will be done entirely on our backs, so it'll be great for that slow warm-up to the day or a nice wind-down before bed. So let's start by breathing in through our nose and feeling the air expanding into the body, letting the belly expand. And as we breathe out, relax, get a little bit heavier. And just start to create a nice even rhythm of breath that's both peaceful and invigorating. As we exhale, we can start to engage the core muscles, the abdominals. And on our next exhale, we're going to do that and let the right knee start to float up. Hold on to your knee, either in front of it or behind it. And let that leg be supported. Let that leg relax. Let your back relax, your shoulders, your neck. Continue breathing normally. Relaxing where you can on your exhales. So on your next inhale, we'll go ahead and lengthen and lower that right leg down. Option to reach the arms overhead for a nice long body stretch. And on your exhale, engage your core and let your left knee start to come up. Hold on to your left knee. Maybe interlace your hands in the opposite way just to try something new. And again, on your exhales, relax that leg, relax both hips, relax your back, relax your shoulders and neck. Continue breathing and feel your belly expanding against your thigh on your inhales. We do the right leg first and then the left, and this is a good massage for digestion as well. So inhaling, we're going to reach the arms overhead again if it feels okay, lower the leg, and on the exhale, we'll bring both knees up with the strength of the core. And holding on here, continuing to breathe steadily, is an opportunity to maybe rock gently side to side or move the knees apart or around in some gentle, smooth circles to massage the hips. And we're going to go ahead and reach through the knees and hold on to the ankles or the shins or the feet if it feels natural. And just let your arms straighten, let your shoulders relax as your feet fall toward the floor in front of you and the knees go out to the sides. So relaxing the legs again, allowing for the arms to support the legs here. You can also use a strap here if the hands don't comfortably grip or reach to the ankles. Take another full breath here. Good. So we're going to go ahead and pull those knees back together and straighten the legs up to the sky. Now engaging in the quads and the kneecaps will help straighten the legs. But if the knees are a little bent, that's totally cool. Let's inhale and flex the feet, pulling the toes toward us. Exhale, push the toes up to the ceiling. And we can do the same with the wrists. And let's take it around in circles with the ankles and the wrists. Imagine you're drawing circles on the ceiling or the sky with your big toes. Change directions if you haven't done so already. And just go slowly as smoothly as you can. If there are any stuck parts, that's okay. So eventually we'll bend the knees, bring the feet to the ground. Have your heels under your knees. I'm going to push into the ground and lift the hips for a bridge. Just make sure your shoulders, your neck stay long and relaxed. And notice here the hips are square to the ground. So each hip is the same distance away from the earth. Now if you put a little more weight into your right leg, 
Your left hip might feel like it wants to dip toward the ground, but engage your core in a way that keeps your hips square even though you're putting more weight into one foot. And if you feel really comfortable with the hips staying square, then that leg that doesn't have weight in it might even lift off the ground and up toward the sky. But take your time here. Do what you can. Don't ever compromise your breath trying to do too much. The breath should always flow easily. So we'll lower back down to the ground with our hips. Let's extend the arms overhead and extend the legs if it's comfortable. So we'll exhale and bring the hands down by our sides. And on an inhale, reach your arms up to the sky and overhead. It's okay to bend your elbows as the arms reach overhead if that's better. And with each exhale, back up to the sky and down by your side. And just continue with your breath. Feel your fingertips tracing through the air. And you might even follow your hands with your eyes. The eyes can be open or closed. And this is going to be a good exercise for the eyes and the range of motion of those muscles. So on the next exhale, we'll just let the arms relax by our side. Take a nice full breath in, and as you breathe out, really let the body be heavy. And allow for that nice steady rhythm of breath once again. Relaxing the eyes on your exhales. Relax your jaw and your tongue. Feel your shoulders supported by the earth, spine nice and long, and notice the hips also supported, as well as the legs and the arms. Feel your belly once again, soft, rising with your inhales, falling with your exhales. And bring your attention to the space around your heart. As you breathe out, allow this space to soften. And then in this heart space, allow something you're grateful for to arise. This can be anything, any person, concept, Something you feel gratitude for, there is no wrong answer. Notice everything that you are grateful for about whatever this is you have chosen. And we'll take another full breath in. And this time as you breathe out, let that feeling of Gratitude spread throughout your entire body. Just notice what this physical feeling of gratitude is like for you. And we'll take another full breath. And start to gently bring motion back into the hands, feet. And now keep your awareness inward. Keep the eyes closed if you can. As you begin to transition up into a seat, stay as relaxed as you can. Attention inward. Breathing steadily. And with each exhale, release any tension that may have just come up. Let's take another breath here. Namaste. Namaste.